Hi there, it's Mia. Today, we are introducing TCXC's AAA API. The AAA server does just as its name suggests. It authenticates or validates subscribers and their credentials, verifies what services and QoS each subscriber is authorized to access, and ensures proper accounting so that customers are accurately billed for the services they use. Authentication The first step in AAA security is authentication. It serves as the first line of defense in protecting network resources against fraud and identity theft, employing multimodal authentication methods. Whenever anyone tries to access the network, the job of the authentication function is identifying whether they are meant to be granted access and also ensuring that the user is in fact who they claim to be. It does so by ensuring the user enters valid credentials, such as username, password, biometrics, or any other security measures that have been implemented by the operator. These credentials are stored in the operator's database, against which the auth server verifies the input given by the user. This database is constantly updated and monitored by network and system administrators. If the user's credentials are valid, they are granted access. Those with fraudulent or erroneous credentials are denied access. All network use of verified users is monitored and logged for future reference. Authorization Once authenticated, the next step for the AAA is determining what policies apply to the user. These policies will govern the user's authorization levels, defining what resources, services, and QoS the user can access. AAA policies can be defined on a host of parameters, such as the time or day, the user's location, how often they've logged in, how much they've consumed, fair usage, and so on. These policies can also restrict certain actions, such as retrieving and or changing passwords. Accounting the final step for the AAA server is to take stock of the network resources accessed by the user, such as network usage consumption and duration of their session. These usage details serve two purposes. One, they ensure the user is accurately invoiced for their consumption. Another important aspect of accounting is to enable administrators to access audit logs to review how and by whom the network was accessed. This usage data is useful to gain valuable insights into customer behavior, usage patterns, and more. This business intelligence, BI, insights help operators create more contextual offerings and enable them to anticipate network use. So, what is TCXC AAA API? It is made of several components and APIs for managing communication service providers AAA needs in one place, SIP, SMPP, HLR, Numbers NRC, MRC. After over a decade of internally developing and using the TCXC AAA to authenticate, authorize and account for billions of transactions accurately and successfully, we have decided to invest in exposing the AAA as an application programming interface to trusted third-party telecom developers to unlock new possibilities for operators modernizing their network using different flavors of CPIUS middleware. We have developed HTTP API endpoints according to TCXC's existing AAA protocols slash logics, TCXC platform administrator can create credentials for trusted developers, as soon they provide the client IP address for API, NAS IP address. The developer can use different IPs for different NAS types, SIP slash SMPP, please visit our blog for code samples. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.